Good evening and welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Sandro Ferdinando and here are your top stories for tonight. Trade unions have warned that a program would be launched to boycott India's products in the country. They have made these remarks during a protest against handing over a 49% stake out of Colombo Port's East Container Terminal to India's Andani Group. Trade unions staged a protest outside the Indian High Commission against the matter today, but they were not allowed to hand over a letter to the foreign mission. Meanwhile, Sri Lanka opened its airports for international flights from today after a lapse of 10 months due to COVID-19 pandemic. The Tourism Ministry said that tourists can land at the Bandar Nayak International Airport and the Matal International Airport through charter flights, scheduled flights or private jets. Tourists arriving in the country must place a pre-booking for PCR test and purchase a mandatory COVID-19 insurance cover worth US dollars 50,000 for a month. The insurance can be purchased by visiting www.visitsrilanka.gov.lk. According to the Tourism Ministry, tourists will have to undergo two PCR tests, each priced at US dollars 40 if their stay is for a week and three tests if the stay exceeds seven days. They will also have to book a safe and secure hotel for two weeks when applying for their visas. And that's the talk of the town for tonight. Thank you very much for joining us. You can stay abreast of more of our stories on our official website, www.newsfirst.lk, on our social media platforms, Facebook and Instagram.